opening our minds to the global village. That's right now in motion. February 25th into 2005, it is important. The, the first time I separated my parents, that was my first time. First time in a plane. And February 5th, 2005 trousers. is a very special date in the life of Vinya Pandagoda. Vindi, as her friends call her, was a teacher in Sri Lanka, leading what was probably an average life. I had a very good social life in Sri Lanka. I was a real outgoing person. I had a lot of friends. Whenever the chance I got to go out, I always go out and meet friends and enjoy my life. Vindi's life would change when she married a man who would eventually land at Penn State studying for his PhD in chemistry. She would make the several thousand mile trip to join her husband in Happy Valley on the other side of the world. But for Vindi, she might as well have been taking a trip to another world. For many students who travel to Penn State or to any other university in this country from another country, it's more than the distance. The problem for most is the culture shock of just living in the U.S. You will have to figure out a whole new system. Um, where do my children go to school? Um, how do I get a driver's license? Uh, do I need to get a different driver's license? Um, I didn't know about taxes. You know, um, internationals also have to pay taxes, whether they're residents or not. So all of these things, um, on top of the fact that you have to be doing it in English, um, are you know, can be great impediments. Meryl David is the director of Global Connections, a community nonprofit organization that aims to bring people of diverse cultural backgrounds together in an effort to foster cross-cultural understanding. They can find a friendly environment and a listening ear um, and we'll try to help them with whatever um, practical things they need or um, just to be their first friend here. Those practical needs run a wide gamut from the basics such as tax preparation assistance to help speaking conversational English. We have a conversation partners program, it's probably our biggest program, um, where we match uh, one native English speaker with one international um, non-native English speaker uh, just for language practice. So um, they would meet once a week whenever they decide to meet. Um, just to help the international with their English and the American can also learn the other language too. We also bring internationals out into the community to share their culture and educate people about their cultures and countries. We have this golden opportunity here. Uh, we are so lucky to have this amazingly diverse community and yet we often live in separate spheres not interacting with each other. Um, so our programs uh, create opportunity to come together and, and share each other's cultures and learn from each other. Um, and it's just, it's a wonderful opportunity. With the help of Global Connections, locals and international students can bridge the gap that arises when different cultures come together. They can serve as an example of what a community can achieve locally and globally. On, on many different levels, on an individual level, community level, and even global level, really. Um, we like to think that our programs are really helping to make peace uh, in our community and in our world. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.